all right so hello my lovelies i'm gonna do a quick retwist i got a new product so this will be the first time i use it this edge control from joy naturals i was reading the ingredients and i don't really think it's completely natural because there's a couple like ingredients i don't necessarily understand but i haven't retwisted my hair in like three and a half months now and the last person that i had do my hair i went to a salon you know she crocheted it and i've been doing palm rolls for my retwist but there's a few pieces that have like like straggly ends hopefully you guys could see that like by the roots so basically in my opinion she didn't do that great of a job that's what i'm coming down to i wanted to get some edge control so that i could put some of these loose hairs in the lock like this one hopefully you can see that it's like this loose hair from when she crocheted it because I had a lot of new growth. So everybody is not going to treat your locks amazing, so just keep that in mind. But this is what my lock babies are looking like. I just finished washing my hair and conditioning it so my locks feel very hydrated and very good. And I'm just going to get this process started. So I'm just going to start with a small amount, like so. And basically I took the gel or edge control product and I just worked that really well into my new growth. And since I'm not using a comb or anything like that, I just kind of had to separate my locks, any of them that like mended together. I just had to separate them with my hands. And honestly, I just used my fingers to guide whether or not I was, you know, taking the hair apart from the right lock. But once I got the hair removed and they weren't tangled anymore, I just basically twisted the locks going clockwise. So again, I'm just working the product very well into my new growth and as you can see it smooths in very nicely and then i just take the lock and i go in a clockwise motion and i'm just using whatever excess product comes out from the lock to basically wrap those little hairs back into the lock the ones that i mentioned in the beginning of this video and then i wrap the lock up and around itself so you're basically taking the lock and wrapping it up around itself so that you don't need a clip so again, I'm gonna show you, I'm just putting the edge control on the top of the lock as well as I'm gonna put some on the bottom of the lock. I'm just making sure it's very coated so that the product, you know, keeps my hair in place since again, we're not using any, you know, clips or anything. And then I'm just very gentle with my hair. I just go in a clockwise motion and then I take the lock after and go up and around itself. So you're basically just making a coil on itself. So now I'm just gonna show you on the top of my head because I figured it would be a lot easier. But again, I'm working the product in my roots as you see. And then I'm going again in a clockwise motion. And then I'm just palm rolling it. It's easier to palm roll as you get closer to the top of your head. And then that excess product, I'm wiping that off. You don't want to keep any excess product because that's usually how you get flakes or white marks. So I'm wiping that excess off and I'm actually using that extra product to wrap those little stray hairs that I told you about. And then I'm just literally wrapping it around itself. Doing the same for this very last lock in the front just putting the edge control all over so that it's nice and smooth. And what I do like, this stuff gives you a nice sheen. So I really do appreciate that as well. It's a great hole, but it also gives you a nice sheen. So again, I'm just going in a clockwise motion. And as you can see, all these little stray hairs, as I'm going down, I'm wrapping them around the lock itself because I want all of those to like intermingle with the lock as well so that they don't stick out of the lock anymore. And once those babies are all, you know, intertwined with everyone else, all their other hairs, I take that excess off best I can, work it down the lock to keep those stray hairs in, and then I'm going to wrap the lock up and around itself. Boom, like so. I don't know why it's like reminding me of a snail, but I don't know if that helps, but that's literally it. You need no combs and no clips. 
Then just to set my hair, I'm just putting my hair in two like loose braids just to hold the style and then I'm just gonna tie it up in a bun in the back. Nothing spectacular, but it will keep my hair in place. And then you guys know how I feel about my baby hair, so <laughs> you know. But that's about it, guys. All right, you guys, so I just finished my hair. I just put my hair in these two braids just to keep my hair in check since I did not use clips this time. So this is definitely an experiment, but so far, so far I can say I like the hold of this because I have used other things in the past for like holds that were like gels and um, they don't hold as well as this. So this one I'm digging so far. I don't have any like, like white residue and if I had any excess product, I could just literally just wipe it off the lock, which I really liked. So we're gonna see what it's like. Hopefully it doesn't flake or you know get any white residue or anything like that but I'll keep you guys posted. I'm probably gonna keep this style in for the next like two days or so just to allow my hair to set and then I will take it out after that. I ain't got nowhere to be so um, whatever I could just let it chill in this because I'm trying to figure out a method that I don't have to do um, clips and the blow dryer because I'm trying to do as low maintenance but also less tension and less heat on my hair so i figured this way would be a good way to not only not have the clips because sometimes we break our hair off by using the clips so i'm trying not to really use those anymore unless it's like completely necessary or if i do a retwist with water and oil the clips are necessary obviously because there's no hold but other than that you guys I'm done. I'm so excited because I'm gonna go eat now and I've been craving a salad so that's what I'm about to go have and yeah that's about it so do, 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 do. this is